Wandering around in the streets of Paris is a risky operation for Mariam. The 26 years old Malian woman doesn't have a residence permit that would allow her to live and work legally in France. If a police patrol asks for her identity papers, she could be detained and ultimately deported. So she stays at home, almost under house arrest in the rooms of her family's apartment. I live in fear. My mother doesn't have her visa either, nor does my younger brother. He's arrested by the police for ID checks almost every day. He cannot be deported because he's a minor, but it is very stressful. Living without papers is worse than being a dog in this country. And the pressure is increasing. Deportation of illegal immigrants has nearly doubled in the first half of this year. And the French immigration minister, Brice Hortefeu, says he wants 26,000 illegal migrants removed by the end of the year. Here in the 18th district of Paris lives a large African community. The police raids the area on a daily basis to chase illegal immigrants. But government supporters say this isn't a war against migrants. Instead, they talk of a bid to create a system to deal with the constant flow of migrants, some of whom will be welcome, many of whom will not. What Sarkozy proposes to the EU is this. Let's have an immigration policy that means we deal with the issue together. Let's deal with asylum together. The European pact we present to our EU partners says we have this open space we share. Beyond the rhetoric, the reality of illegal migrants on the ground in France is rather grittier. EU nations will soon have the power to detain migrants for up to 18 months while their cases are heard. But long stays in overcrowded conditions leads to acts of desperation. Two weeks ago, detainees inside the country's largest deportation centre started a fire in protest at their plight. The prospect of new immigration code has also raised suspicion elsewhere. Many Latin American leaders, whose citizens live in large numbers through the EU, have branded the moves as xenophobic and one they're watching the can meeting closely. But that is unlikely to move the French who claim that European social systems are close to breaking and that they cannot give papers to everyone. Estelle Yusufa, Al Jazeera, Paris.